Haley Marie Norman of Keenan. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. You look fantastic. Oh my gosh, you look fantastic. I love your brain. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love your hair. <laughs> um, so I wanted to talk about, I feel like the season just started and now we're already at the finale. What has it been like for you joining the cast of Keenan in season two? Oh my gosh, it's been such a whirlwind. I feel the same way you do. I'm like, we're just getting started. You know? I know. <laughs> but that's been really fun having two episodes back to back every Monday, especially for someone like me. I'd love to like sink my teeth into a series and watch as much as I can. So I've been loving it because I'm a fan of the show. You know, I loved the first season. And so um, I'm getting to like, I'm so excited to be watching it with ev with everyone else every Monday night. But yeah, it went by yeah. so fast. And just getting like dropped in the middle of it was like a dream come true. Like it felt almost like I was coming home because I did watch the first season and was such a fan. So I was I was ready to go. I was ready to yeah. go. And what was it like working with Keenan? I feel like he is a comedic legend. I know personally I've grown up with Keenan. So what was that like for you to jump in and play his love interest this season? <laughs> okay, so not only is he a legend, but he's also like a consummate professional. Like Keenan could do, I, we were laughing on set about how he could do everybody's job on the set, except for he says he couldn't do lighting. He said that he still hasn't figured out lighting totally. But I mean, this man is on every little thing that's happening. He, he, he knows every little thing that happens and he's so sweet and he's ready to go when it's time to go. And he's engaging when you yell cut. And <laughs> I mean, <laughs> honestly, one of my favorite people I've ever worked with, just so sweet and so wow. personable. And yeah, there is, there is that thing that's like, wow, I grew up like, watching you on TV my whole life so you yeah. already feel like there's going to be like a friendly dynamic but then you're there and you're like oh this is even better than I imagined right that's so awesome to know too because I it's it's such a nice full circle moment for people like me, fans like me, to see him kind of grow up and watch him on TV and now see him starring on his own show on NBC. And then you see saying that he's so nice and wonderful off camera just makes it even better. How often were you guys cracking jokes or not ruining takes, but messing up takes? How was that environment like working on a comedy like this? Oh, it was incredible. We did get to do a lot of improvising, which was so much fun, but the scripts are already just so good on their own. And all the writers and producers on set, you know, who are popping in and giving alts and whatever. And so it felt really fun because everyone is so talented and it also felt collaborative. You know, we were getting to create together. And then, but like I said before, like not only were we laughing when we were doing the takes, but like the stuff that we were talking about, okay, <laughs> in between takes, like, I am still laughing about, like, and we wrapped the show, I think, in November, like, we wrapped the show either, like, end of October or November, and there's jokes that, like, Keenan was saying when I was just, like, telling him about stuff going on in my life that I'm, I still think about and <laughs> laugh, but it was, I mean, you, you can't ask for a better time, you couldn't ask, I couldn't ask for anything better. Truly. And what was the journey for your character this season? Your character's name's Janae. She's dating Keenan. Uh, what has her experience been like uh, throughout this season? Oh, well, Janae has had quite a journey because <laughs> she's dating Keenan now. But as we saw in the season premiere, she started with Gary. But I need everyone to know she's not yeah. trifling. It's not like that. Her <laughs> and Gary just got not. Have people been that. saying that? No, no one's been saying okay. that. No one's been saying that. No, luckily I've gotten nothing but love for Janae. You know, and I and I think I think, you know, that's what I really meant by that. Like even though her and Gary matched on impromptu vu, um, it was very clear from the beginning that it was her and Keenan that had a connection. Um, and Gary might have felt some type of way about that, but I think we see that we see the relationship between Janae and Keenan grow so much. Um, and we even get to see Janae interact with Keenan's family in different ways. So it's cool because there's a lot of arcs. There's the arc with right. Gary and then with Keenan and Janae, and then with Keen with Janae 
and the different family members, you know, whether she's going to be introduced to them or not. And, um, and then when you tune in tonight for the, uh, for the season finale, there is an even bigger arc there is, you know, re- relationships are hard and we're, we're going to have to see what happens between the two of them. Exactly. I did get a sneak peek at the finale and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> Miami was definitely a good time. <laughs> oh, Miami uh, is always a good time. And the episode <laughs> is called Destroying Miami. So, you know, that means we go in, we go in and we go right. hard. <laughs> very, very fitting. Um, what was that like shooting that particular episode? Because I feel like this one is very pivotal for how season three may turn out for particular characters. Yeah, it definitely sets up, I think, a whole new tone for what a serious relationship with Janae and Keenan would look like, specifically with Keenan dating as a widow, which I just think is such right. a, an interesting storyline that I can't remember really seeing on any other shows you know like what is it like when you are a widow and you've got this whole big family and your you know your late wife was such a heart and center of it and now you're introducing a new woman to the family you know Mm -hmm. um and Janae the thing about Janae is she has everyone's best interests at heart like she is really understanding she knows that she's being thrown into the center of this of this big you know, beautiful and and dynamic family, but that doesn't mean that it's always easy for her, you know, becoming kind of like, no one's using the word stepmom yet, because that's a big step, that's a big step, but becoming, you know, just kind of getting thrown into this new role as a new female figure in these little girls' lives. Right, who are also super hilarious and very adorable. (laughs) We would dance between takes. Like, we would have so much fun between takes and th- I got the whole their whole life story like the, th- those are my girls and we were like talking about our <laughs> Halloween costumes they're so sweet I mean and we were so silly like yeah so fun I love it. what what songs were you guys dancing around to oh no we don't need music okay oh, perfect we're just <laughs> dancing so so Danny the actress Danny she like she she will dance between like right before they like say cameras rolling she's got to like get out her energy by doing like a whole big dance and I'm a dancer too and I'm also really silly and I'm just I'm just a little girl at heart you know like I'm I'm, I'm mentally I'm right there with them so we were just dancing and and uh, <laughs> just entertaining ourselves really I love it. I I love it. <laughs> and what do you, what do you think uh fan how do you think fans are going to feel about the finale cuz it airs tonight. So how do, oh, yeah. how do you you know Monday night it's going to be crazy. What are you, what are you expecting? <laughs> okay, I love fan reactions and I personally can't wait to see how they react because fans were already so mad at the episode last week's episode the whole enchilada when Keenan ran into me with his family and pretended not to know me. <laughs> I, got, right. <laughs> I got so many like DMs and comments and some of them will be like, I'm so mad at Keaton. Why would he do this? So they were happy at the end of the episode when he made it better. <laughs> so tonight I think is going to throw fans for a loop. But I think the most important thing is they're going to feel some type of way. And that's why we make TV, right? Because we right. we need our fans to feel some type of way. And I think they're going to leave feeling some type of way. <laughs> what has been some of your favorite fan reactions or uh, things that the fans have said about your character or about the show in general? It means so much to me just how well Janae has been embraced and how much people love Keenan and Janae as a couple because Janae has really brought out a different side of Keenan that we haven't seen on the show yet. And right. so getting to see that like softer, romantic version of Keenan, but also like him doing something new, like him being a dad is, you know, even though all, all, there's always up and downs with being a dad, like he's, he, that's a well-oiled machine for him. The family is already established. The job is, is, is already established. So seeing him in this very new role of his first relationship post his wife passing, um, I think brings out just a different side of Keenan that we didn't get to see before. And Janine and Keenan are just so cute together. They are, they are. I feel like they have such a good dynamic and she really understands him and understands 
his world and kind of what he's dealing with and tries to be uh, accommodating to that. So I think that's also a really nice thing that people like about the relationship, but expect those DMs to go crazy tonight, girl. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm turning my notifications on. Okay. I'm reading all of them. I'm going to send you the first one. Like, I knew it. I knew it. This is, this is, you know, they're, they're going crazy. I love it. Um, do you have any maybe predictions or hopes for season three? Anything is possible in, in this universe, in this world. Anything is possible in this universe. Um, <laughs> like I said, I personally, as a fan of the show, would love to just see more of like um, what it would mean for Janae to step into this new position as a new member of Keenan's family. We'll see what happens. We'll see where it goes. Right. There's a lot that has to happen before then. Um, but I'm excited about it. Absolutely. I'm so excited for fans to see it as well. And congratulations. This season has been a journey. It's been a wild ride. I can't believe it's already over, but you know, season three will be back before we know it. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's so. the great thing about Peacock too, because it did go by really fast. So it's like, yeah. if it, if you need to rewatch, you want to watch again, it lives on Peacock, which is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we are in a binging world. So <laughs> I binged it myself last night, which is so funny because I watch it as it airs live. And then last night I was like, I'm firing up the peacock and I'm going to watch it again. Same, literally same. I was like, you know what? Like, this is a good idea. <laughs> and it wasn't because the show is so funny. It's it's really hilarious. Just like the situations and the ca the characters are so interesting and unique. The people that he works with and his daughters and everybody. So it's just, I love it. And I can't wait for fans to see tonight at eight o'clock what is going to happen. So congratulations again. And I hope to talk to you again soon. Hopefully, you know, season three, fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.